Hi there, James Craddock with the I Guess Talk Creative Thinking Strategy, and you are inside the Emotional Arena uh, module now, and uh, we are building upon the introduction to the seven arenas of the human experience. We are in the phys- we, we've looked at the physical arena and the sensual arena, and now we're in the emotional arena. And uh, the emotional arena is a very uh, it's a very touchy arena um, because of the fact that it's emotional and uh, it, it deals with um, um, those excitations that we get as a result of decoding information from the physical arena through our central arena. And uh, an interesting fact is that because you cannot access the physical arena and you cannot decode anything from it, your emotions cannot be stirred by it unless it goes through the fifth arena. It has to go through the sensual arena. Therefore, if you can control your senses, then it makes it much easier to control your emotions. And we know that one of the greatest uh, assets that an investor can have or a financier or anybody that's dealing with money is to have control of their emotions. And we'll discuss here and there um, throughout the training and then we'll put some supplements in that will talk about some exercises you can do and some disciplines that you can incorporate into your life that will help you control your emotions as a result of controlling what aspects of the uh, physical arena you allow to come through your central arena. And by doing so, I anticipate that you will also recognize the the, val- the validity of the emotional arena and the purpose of the emotional arena and we'll set up some physical characteristics and we'll go through the same framework we have in the previous arenas and continue to go through for the subsequent arenas so that you start to identify with this arena in such a way that it becomes very innate and very uh, auto response auto responsive in your own right when you think about the emotional arena, it's no longer this mass of colors and, and feelings and, uh, 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 you know, kind of mayhem that seems to arise out of discerning emotions. Rather, it's, it's, these are specific attributes and they're affected in specific ways. And here are the laws and here are the characteristics of that arena. And so doing, uh, so looking at it that way, we can start flipping switches and start pulling levers and making it in such a way that our emotions are put into subjection of those uh, laws and those characteristics and, and, and subsequently we're able to control our emotions. I'm going to teach you some meditation also that is going to help you calm your emotions and bring your emotions under control. Even if you bring your emotions under control for a very short period of time each day, three, four minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, then you're going to have a frame of reference that's going to give the rest of your day um, <clears throat> this uh, tone that is much more controllable and manageable. And when you get to moments of extreme anxiety, fear, frustration, uh, uh, anger, uh, all the different gamut of emotions that sometimes when brought to the extreme can cause us harm and pain, when you get to a point where you can control those at the drop of a hat, you're going to discover that you've got a power within you that that benefits you in all areas of life. And of course, again, we're laying the, the groundwork for the I Guess creative thinking strategy and you will need to control your emotions in both subduing them and exciting them when it comes to putting together a creative idea and uh, having control of this arena is incredibly powerful and necessary to be effective so the uh, this emotional arena I also want you to recognize how much data gets absorbed in this arena this arena is like a flywheel. It, it, it will absorb a lot of extra data. It will absorb things that your subconscious isn't using and your conscience isn't using. It will carry around with it, if you will, um, deterior data that it doesn't need. It's like a hard drive that just hasn't been cleaned up in a long time sometimes. It can just be packed with pieces of information and, 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 and visuals and uh, auditory uh, loops and <laughs> you name it that, that tend to play on your subconscious, but they don't directly uh, live in the subconscious. So when what it does is it, it sits there like this big cloud over you if it's a negative emotion and it's constantly writing to your subconscious without you realizing it. 
and we'll get more into that, but the emotional arena is a challenging arena, and it's a very critical one, and the reason it's so challenging is because of its critical nature, but also because it's, it's, it's kind of on the sidelines. It doesn't, we don't always consider our emotions when we consider our thought processes and our uh, manifestation processes and our uh, accessing of ideas, etc. And it's one of the first arenas that we need to consider but oftentimes we don't even we don't even give it any 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 consideration and then when we do we don't really have any good tools or mechanisms to control it so we're going to hopefully lay to rest all of those ideas but again in the training module we're just simply going to set up the framework of what the emotional arena is all about and no doubt I tend to drop a few hints here and there of how you can use it but then later we'll have additional videos that you can download that will give you exercises and very uh, clear instruction on how that emotional arena can be managed to your benefit so enjoy the uh, training and we'll see you back here because our next arena is a fun one we move into the conscious arena alright remember creativity is the sixth sense